We're back continuing our Miami Herald National Signing Day preview show. Joined by Charles Fishbein, I'm David Faronis. We're on Miami High's campus where Pi Young will make one of the uh, biggest decisions on signing day. But uh, we're here to talk about the Broward prospects in, in this uh, section and um, a lot of top prospects. I mean, uh, Fish, when was the last time you saw uh, Broward just so much better in, uh, in recruits than, uh, than Dade County like we've seen this year? This is probably one of the first years. Uh, Br Broward's loaded with talent from top to bottom. You have Nick Bosa. We've been discussing him for the last two years. His brother Joey is at Ohio State's an All-American. Probably going to end up a top five pick. We've argued is Nick better than Joey, but uh, Nick's one of the top players coming out of here this year, going to Ohio State, and uh, he should have a very good college career. Yeah, and we'll get into uh, predicting where some of the guys that are um, on the fence making decisions on signing day might go. But um, if you had to rank some of the some of the top guys, you mentioned Nick Bosa. Um, who would be, let's say, a top five that, that you would think coming out of Broward in 2016? I think Nick, you have Sam Bruce, who's committed to University of Miami. Brian Burns, who's uncommitted right now from American Heritage uh, Plantation. You have uh, Aaron Robinson, who is committed to University of Florida. Trayvon Mullen, who's uncommitted, is down to three schools. So those are some of the top guys. Uh, you also have Benjamin Victor, who also just recently committed to Ohio State, who we actually put out there a couple years ago. So I'm happy about that one. So. Yeah, so um, you mentioned uh, Trayvon Mullen, Brian Burns, some of those top guys. Um, they're going to be deciding on signing a Dredrick Snelson, another one who was an Under Armour All-American. Uh, he'll be deciding. Uh, where do you think these guys end up going? We'll start with uh, Brian Burns. Brian Burns is down to, I believe, like Georgia, uh, Florida State, Florida, those three schools have been recruiting them the hardest recently. Um, you know, rumor out there that Burns is leaning towards Florida State, but you never know with these guys. They could be leaning one way all of a sudden on signing day. They pull out another hat and they end up at another school. I know Georgia and Florida. Florida was in there heavy uh, and the leader for a while. Georgia's been in there as well. Yeah, Alabama's been in there as well a little bit. Uh, Trayvon Mullen, he's released the top five. I know um, LSU, FSU, Clemson, Louisville, uh, TCU is in there. Um, you think he's ultimately down to, to three of those now at this point? Yeah, it's down to Clemson, Florida State, and LSU for Trayvon. But Trayvon's a very quiet uh, prospect. He doesn't say a whole lot, so it's hard to get a read on it. A lot of players, they come back, you could kind of get body language. Uh, the vibe they had on a visit. Trayvon's been real quiet about the whole process, and he could pick one of the, the three schools we mentioned before. Yeah, and then uh, Snelson, uh, a soft Minnesota commit, but he's really been considering Maryland, Penn State, uh, UCF is in there, a little bit of Miami, possibly. Uh, do you think he ultimately sticks with his Minnesota commitment, or he goes elsewhere? Well, Snelson's been at three or four high schools, so we don't uh, to predict where he's <laughs> going to go to college is a whole <laughs> totally different thing. I mean, he's been all over the place, right. but. Uh, you know, he's a guy that, you know, he committed, uh, I think, to University of Miami early on. Right. Then he's been committed to Minnesota for at least a couple months. So that's, we got to give him credit for that. But I really don't know where he's going to go. I mean, it's been all over the place. He could end up at, you know, Miami at the end. Who knows? But uh, I think he's definitely a player to watch in the next couple of years. Yeah, and a couple of guys that are currently committed, but still you should look out for them. Uh, Aaron Thompson at Dillard, he's currently committed to Maryland. Um, South Carolina, he just got a visit from him. That, there might be a potential flip there. I know James Pierre, UM is back on him with his new coaching staff, uh, the safety out of Deerfield, and uh, he flipped to UNC after he had previously committed to UM. Um, but Fish, because uh, Broward is really deep in, in recruiting this year, uh, give me an under the radar prospect, someone who could really make an impact in college that not that many people or top programs are. I think the one player that, I, that came out of nowhere this year is Rashad Weaver. He originally was from Indiana, transferred to Cooper City was a former basketball player, uh, went to Michigan's camp down here, one of their satellite camps, was one of the MVPs of the camps, committed to Michigan. Now he's down to like, I believe, Penn State and Pittsburgh. He's a guy I really like. Not only is he a, a potential uh, all-conference type of player, I think at the next level of defensive end, but he could potentially grow into an offensive tackle. Uh, and that basketball background, he could right. be one of those guys that could surprise us in a couple years. Yeah, and he's another one to look out for on signing day after Michigan dropped his scholarship offer. Then uh, he's seen a whirlwind of offers and schools come after him. So uh, he's down to Pitt, Penn State, and Temple on all Pennsylvania top three. For Charles Fishbein, I'm David Faronis. That was your Broward Miami Herald National Signing Day preview.